Good afternoon, and, and thank you, Governor Wolf, for uh, highlighting the challenges we're facing and, and putting forth a bold plan to address them. As the governor noted, we're one year later, and not only have the issues we face not gone away, they have actually increased. Uh, I want to highlight several main areas related to DEP that are in need of resources that Restore Pennsylvania can provide. Water, abandoned mines and petroleum wells, and legacy pollution in our soil and groundwater. First, the need to clean up Pennsylvania waters. Of the 86,000 miles of streams and rivers in Pennsylvania, more than 19,000 miles are, have some level of impairment. Communities are shouldering the brunt of the burden uh, to improve these waterways, but the need is still enormous. In addition, Pennsylvania is working to improve waters in the Chesapeake Bay watershed, which covers all or part of 43 counties. To reach Pennsylvania goals, there needs to be an additional $324 million in, in investments into improving our water quality. Not all of that needs to be from state resources, but Restore Pennsylvania would be an enormous step forward in reaching our goals of cleaner streams, sustainable farms, and reduced flooding. In the past year, I've visited multiple communities in Pennsylvania where the infrastructure to handle heavy stormwater is either inefficient or non-existent. These communities need solutions to corral and control stormwater and stream and floodplain restoration upstream to reduce the overall amount of floodwater in the first place. In just one of those instances where there are grates to actually catch debris that's entering into uh, a storm system, uh, they have actual mechanical uh, pickers to try to keep the grates clear to prevent the flooding. Uh, they got out to that picker in eight minutes in one of these heavy storm events, and it was too late at that point already. Uh, it, it was already overwhelmed, and they could do nothing about it. We need this infrastructure desperately. I'd also like to talk about abandoned mine lands, acid mine discharge, and orphaned and abandoned oil and gas wells. All are an unfortunate legacy of Pennsylvania's past that are still with us today. An estimated 200,000 abandoned oil and gas wells still dot the landscape of Pennsylvania, threatening groundwater and leaking dangerous methane gas into the atmosphere. These wells, many of which predate the existence of DEP, can cost between $10,000 and $50,000 to plug, with some going into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Based on our current resources, DEP is plugging seven wells a year. That is a plan that puts us on a schedule of having this issue resolved in 30,000 years, which is clearly unacceptable in terms of, uh, again, dealing with this important infrastructure. More funding through Restore Pennsylvania could help us jumpstart that process. Abandoned mines and acid mine drainage are, are another issue where the past continues to hold back our future. There is an estimated $5 billion in needs still on the books for abandoned mine land reclamation in the state. Some of this is being dealt with through programs at the federal level, including the Abandoned Mine, Mine Land Program, but it's still a major blight on Pennsylvania's landscape. Again, these problems are real, and they are not going away on their own. We need to find a solution that provides resources to address them. Finally, I want to talk about brownfields cleanup and legacy contamination. The need to remediate legacy pollution continues to grow. In addition to cleaning up industrial sites through the Hazardous Site Cleanup Act, new concerns with legacy contamination from chemicals like perfluorinated compounds, or PFAS chemicals as they're commonly known, present new challenges. We're just scratching the surface of the extent of PFAS contamination across the state, but the need for groundwater remediation and filtration for drinking water will only increase, and we need to have the resources to address that challenge head on. Last year, I visited a site where a new water treatment plant was coming online to deal with legacy contamination from TCE in the water. Projects like that will be needed in more places across the Commonwealth as pollutants of the past threaten our community's futures. Treatment for public water systems to deal with PFAS and other chemicals in groundwater can run into the millions of dollars, costs that cannot be borne by some of the communities that are coming to learn of contaminants in their drinking water. Finding the source of contamination, cleaning it up, and ensuring drinking water is safe is an enormous and expensive endeavor. We need the resources to deal with the legacy and emerging contamination. We need Restore Pennsylvania to do it.